Uh, do you not think you should start getting ready? On account of it being your wedding day and all that. Men. They're just not wired the same as us. It takes about five minutes to put a suit on. Or maybe a bit longer for Andy, right? Yeah, whatever. About time. Call yourself the best man. You should have been here hours ago. Yeah, sorry. No, don't worry about it. Is everything OK? Yeah, don't worry, Rob. We're not going to cause any domestic scenes. We don't want to steal the limelight. Good to know. Not that he's worried about much. Very laid back, this one. All hungover. Now that you mention it, do you fancy a beer? No, I best not. You're the best man. It's tradition, isn't it? Or maybe not. Either way, go get us a couple of beers. I feel like uh, being reckless. That's more like it. Just the one mind. I don't want you being reckless and legless. Come on. He uh, doesn't know, does he? About Wiley's farm? Not yet. Why are you worried he's going to blame you? Chris, he's not going to change your mind. He's going to find out sooner or later. Your love thing comes out in the end, right? What have I missed? Nothing. Where's yours? No, like I said, don't really fancy it. Yeah, me neither. Go on, then. What? You're your best man, aren't you? Not going to let him out your sight. Taking the time getting those suits on. Are you sure you're OK? Yeah, I'm fine. Lawrence, let me guess. You've just realised how much today is going to cost you. Let me get you a brandy. <laughs> Tempting, though that sounds. Is Robert around? I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Rebecca's flight's been cancelled and she's not going to be able to make the wedding. Oh, I'm so sorry. Andy, where's your brother? I've got to go and sign for this delivery. Oh, hang on. Again, and He's not here. He said he won't be long. Something about Chris's wedding gift. Oh, OK. Never mind. I'd better go break the news to Chrissy. Oh, and... Please, the pair of you, try not to ruin their day. And why shouldn't I? Because I asked you nicely and because it's their wedding. Well, they're the ones who pulled out on the sale of Wiley's farm, so really, I don't owe them a thing. Really? That's the first I've heard. First you've heard of what? Well, Katie seems to think that Robert and Chrissy have pulled the sale of the farm. You are? Since when? But I wasn't going to say anything. Not today. I don't believe this. What have you done now? Nothing! Right? Can't you see this is Robert's way of getting at me? What is wrong with you, Katie? I thought you dropped all this. Now you've got even worse. I don't think you should come to the wedding. It suits me. Well, seeing as you clearly don't give a toss, maybe I should think about moving out permanently. Fine. Whoa. 